democracy is freedom and it provides gives you the opportunity to make decisions which make the society in general prosper. 0.5 vacancy rate is ridiculous. I was reading an uh, article recently and it's not even healthy. Healthy for like a city is something like five, six, seven and a half, I think it was seven and a half percent vacancy rate. And it's just ridiculous. And my friends and I don't even know where we're going to go. And it, it causes it causes rent to go up so much higher than it should, than it naturally should. I mean, it's, it's already good. Like things are pretty reasonable in Davis, but still it's just too high. And this is Street Talk. Our question for the week is, who's more believable, Clarence Thomas or Professor Hill, and why? Uh, I think that Clarence Thomas is more believable at this moment. And why? Because there's just a lot of, there's, there's a lot of loopholes within her argument, and, and his name never was really mentioned by her panel. They just, they just brought up the name that it was a supervisor, and that could have been one of many people. And my personal feeling is that <clears throat> it may not have been actual physical sexual harassment, but perhaps she wasn't promoted in a way that she felt that she should have been promoted. And so she didn't get promoted because she was a woman, then she may have viewed that as sexual harassment, which is understandable. But that's no reason for her, you know, I, I just don't think her arguments are, are, are supported as strongly as his by the people he has on his panel. So, plus, just my opinion. Oh, how, do you, how do you feel about parking here in Davis, at UC Davis, at Stack the campus Hill? or the city or? Actually, both. Both? It's awful, I think. I think we need more parking. Um, it takes about an hour sometimes um, to find parking. Um, and I really don't like leaving my car with the um, stack parking. Um, I don't feel safe, but that's just me. <laughs> what do you think they can do about it to help? You know, I don't, I don't know, because I've been parking here for five years. Because I've been commuting for five years, and the parking prices have gone up. So they've gone up from $62 to about $95 right now. And it looks like they're parking, they're building a new parking structure, if I'm right. Like, at the far end of Merak, it's, it's the worst place for a parking structure. It's way far from, away from the, school, from the campus. They need to do something about it. I would like to tell Gray Davis that I voted for you, and that if you're going to be a good governor, you should put 215 into effect, which is what, what, six out of eight of us have said? <laughs> and legalize marijuana. There we go, for medicinal use. I don't have anything else to say. I think I'd be like a red bell pepper because they're sort of cheery and round and they taste good. <laughs> That's what I'd be, red bell pepper. When is it appropriate to have a grab and now one of the times? As far as being when it's appropriate for having a grab, but now I don't think it's the time. Reason is, first of all, a lot of soldiers over there now are scared, and I don't think that'll help the situation that we're in now. I think a draft is important to a certain extent just for our country's security. Just the own well, the only problem that I have with the draft is probably more regarding black people. And if we are drafted, as long as we have an equal number of representation in the military as we do in civilian life, for example, one in every black person is one of the civilians walk around the United States, but one in every four is a military person. So we have a disproportionate of numbers. In other words, we overrepresented. So we wasn't so much as overrepresented, I guess it wouldn't be a problem. Oh, well, I believe in um, Professor Hill just because I just feel that you should probably believe the woman in any kind of sexual type accusation. Well, I think that your parents teach you morals and ethics, and well, they can, they can, and they can't. And, um, if you're, if you're taught good morals, then you have, you are naturally brought up with a good uh, nature. Um, I don't think that it's some genetic um, attitude that's uh, in your genes or anything. Now, everyone's going to be more aware now that it happened to someone that everyone loves, but the thing that, that irritates me is AIDS has been around for years. Yeah, <laughs> AIDS has been around for years and all of a sudden now that Magic Johnson gets it he's all out for the AIDS crusade and five years ago he could have been doing it because he's a role model for kids. That's the only thing I have to say.